it draws this long line across here. Now we can add our head. And it's got this line coming here. Alright, so I'm going to actually show you what happens since I already changed my language to HTML. Alright, so here we go. It's not going to work once we do this. Right when we run. As you can see. We have to first go to language, go down to our H, HTML, and there we go. And then we can write our head like I did before, and then our body. I like this feature because once you get into more coding and you have a lot of stuff in your body, you can just minimize some of the stuff that you've already finished, and it saves your workspace. All right, so let's take a look at some other stuff here. First off, we can go to our settings and our style configurator, and we can change any of our global styles or languages specifically. We can just gotta click our language and change it. Um, let's see. We'll just do this, or not. Oh, there we go. Alright, so you select theme up here. It's been a while since I've used this. And as you can see. Now, when you're working with this kind of code, it's better off to keep a black background so that your eyes aren't strained and it doesn't hurt your eyes later in the long run. So we're just going to save this on our end. Another thing we can go do is settings, preferences, come down here to auto completion enable auto um, auto completion on each input and we can also do auto insert quotes uh, line quotes HTML anything that we do all right just check mark out everything on there so now what this does as you can see it automatically closed our our body again because I accidentally clicked the arrow see it automatically closes our tags alright so what else is good on here another thing you can do if you're like me and have to print out your code all the time go into print under settings and preferences you can either click the print line numbers, which are over here. You can click what you see is what you get, inverted, or black and white, which I do black and white, and it saves ink. It's just a white background, which they're not gonna print, um, yeah, print white, and then the black text. It's perfect for this. All right, so now I'm gonna tell you a couple plugins to add, which I haven't added yet to mine. I just know it. Go to plugin manager under plugins, Show plugin manager. So this whole thing comes up, okay? First off, look at these auto save and auto save two. Auto save one just automatically auto saves your file after what? You could set the time to whatever you want to. This one is defaulted at one. And then auto save two is kind of the same thing except for it makes copies. So your original file is fine, and then it'll keep making copies of your file. After, if there's any edits to it. I kind of like that idea just so that if you mess up on your old, uh, newer versions you can go back to the older version. Okay, so we're gonna click that one and we're gonna add that one. Alright, let's see what else is there. Okay, so I've written them down so that I can actually find these a little bit easier. Alright, Explorer is not on here anymore. Probably have to download that from another place. It's all alphabetical order, so. Alright, multi clipboard. I'm going to show you guys what that does later. And then HTML tag, which is going to be coming up here. Uh, if I can find it. There we go. 
There's also code for like JS Lint, which is for JavaScript, by the way, and JS Tool. Um, okay, let's get Light Explorer as well. There it is. That's what we wanted. That helps us a lot. You can also get Lorem Ipsum, which is basically what web developers use to keep the text. <clears throat> uh, it's basically like insertable text. It's just filler text. Okay. Now let's see what else we can find here. And there's a bunch of awesome plugins. You guys can go through them in your, uh, yourself. But most of this stuff isn't going to pertain to you guys. Unless you know regex. Which a couple of these regex are okay, but you're better off not even using that. Well, that's Nimbus just to show you what that is, okay? Alright, so now we're going to install all this. Shouldn't take that long, so. So it just has to restart after it's done um, installing those. Okie dokie. So as you can see, I have snippets over here now. I can go to HTML and bam. Now we got HTML, a big document just like we would with Dreamweaver. And then we can go back to HTML characters or HTML tags. Anything that we would really want to do. Oh, this is cool. Uh, HTML 4.01 strict DDT, transitional DDT, frame sets. Um, XHTML 1.0 strict DDT, transitional DDT, um, everything. It doesn't have HTML5, which is kind of sad. They need to update this. Um, the templates is right here. If you have CSS, you just click CSS, which that should not be there either. Anyways. JavaScript which is generic, um, which is the vanilla JavaScript, or jQuery JavaScript, PHP, inserts, selects, and updates. You can also look up ANSI characters, which basically what these are, are characters that um, either if you're using JavaScript or parsing HTML, you don't want to actually parse this, and so you use that. Or you can just write the the code, but yeah. Um, okay, so now we go to our plugins, and now we have all this stuff. Click Light Explorer. This opens up a whole bunch of stuff for us. Okay. Sorry about that noise. All right, so yeah. Anyways, let's see. Um, Alright, let's open up just to keep this. We can minimize these as much as we want. Plugins, HTML tag, we can do find the matching tag, select tags and contents. Encode and decode the entities. Encode and decode JS. Uh, Mimi Toys, to Mimi Tools, which is like base64 encode in. Um, most of the stuff that you guys aren't really going to need. Multi clipboard. Alright, so number of clip text to store. You can change this to whatever you want. Okay, so what this does is say we did HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And so we copy these, control C, control C, control C. But now if we do control, shift, V, we have our options of what we've copied. See? That's control, shift, V. Alright. Board. Oh, that's what we just did. If 
I looked at snippets. Alright. So, don't forget we can have to change our language. So now we can look at JavaScript as well. And I didn't, don't know if you guys saw this, but this actually changed to JavaScript. Basics, date, math. Which that still has that. It's pretty awesome. I won't lie, just because you can look through this and not actually have to um, wait for the auto completion from like Dreamweaver. So we could just like write function Dreamweaver. Oh. For some reason, they, we get in triple closing. So what we're going to do is look at this. Turn that off. Let's see what happens here. All right, that was the problem. Why? We had the auto completion from um, Notepad plus plus, and then we had this auto completion plugin on. So if you don't want to download that, you don't have to. But as you can see, when we come down here to our character, our ending tag, it highlights the opening tag, just like right here. I'll show you it like this. It um, highlights the opening tag, which is wonderful, especially if we did HTML, which we're going to change our HTML right now. And we're going to add a template. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay. So if we did div, and we just don't know what's going on. You see how that highlighted that? It shows us our opening div. It's pretty awesome because we can also do this. Come in here, it opens up our div. It actually highlights where these all close. So don't ever just think that since Dreamweaver costs money, it's going to be better. Honestly, I like Notepad++ a lot better than Dreamweaver. I use that a lot. As you can see, I'm right on it. Um, but one of my friends was talking about how she didn't know how to use Notepad++ plus, Notepad++ plus plus because our professor actually just teaches us on Dreamweaver. So I made this video so you guys can learn about it. Well, that's it for me.